Hey guys, it's me Tara and the day that I've had, let me tell you. If you didn't know, last week I got ordained to marry people and so I decided to frame my certificate and as I was pushing the back in, you know, when you like push the back of the frame things in, the metal pieces, it sliced my finger open. So deep that this is my third band-aid and it's still bleeding through. I sliced this eight hours ago. Not sure if I need stitches or not, I probably do, and it hurts really bad. I still feel a heartbeat in the tip of my thumb. I don't know if that's normal or not. Hours later, I go to dinner. I'm sitting, enjoying my meal with my friend, and I look over, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner is walking past me. We make eye contact. It was crazy. I met Caitlyn Jenner today. Two minutes later, a bird flies over our table. It's not even like the day. We're at dinner. It's like evening. Takes a big fat dump on me. Where is it? I wiped it pretty good, but the stain is still there. I will throw these pants in the hamper. Anyways, I've had a rough day. Let's just, let's just say that. Today, I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. This was a trend on YouTube back when I was a child. When I was like 11 and 12, I would be like, what's in my purse? Like Juicy Star 07. If you guys know who Juicy Star 07 is, comment down below. This was a big deal when I was younger. I don't know if people on YouTube still do it, but I'm gonna do it because I think it's gonna be fun to show you guys what's in my purse because I'm a weird person and let's talk about it. This is a Palm Springs mini Louis Vuitton. I wanted this purse since it came out and it was not in my price range. So my parents were kind enough to get it for me for Persian New Year. I'm very thankful and grateful they got me this. I have been using it every day since. And if you know me, I feel like you know I like to change out my purse pretty often but I literally haven't changed this since four months let's see what's in this thing because I'm really curious I don't clean out my bag just so you know I don't think there's like a point in cleaning your bag unless you're like switching bags I'm disgusting unless you spill gravy in it then you'd have to clean it I don't carry gravy with me you put it in your pockets Ooh, here I'll, I'll have you guys take a good look here's what you can see I don't know, I don't know where to start. Let's start with something basic that everyone has in their purse. A wallet. Wow. This is just like a Louis Vuitton car card holder. And I have a story about this. I bought one of these with one of my first paychecks from the coffee shop I worked at. If you guys know, you know I spent my first paycheck on those. Those Valentino shoes. I said it in my shoe tour. My second paycheck I spent on this card holder in brown and then I lost it one day on Melrose. So this is my second one. And inside I have lots of cards, but I have something cute in here. I have this picture of me and Jake from our second date and it's really old and I carry it around with me because it's cute. But look how young we look in this. Aww. Next I have a lit candle because once again, I have a fear of things smelling bad and I don't want my purse to smell bad. So I always have a lit candle in there. And for some reason people tell me it's a fire hazard, but everything's been fine so far. It's Cactus Blossom, if anyone was wondering from Bath and Body Works. I love the smell of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my bag now. Then I have a mask. I keep dropping things, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sugar. I don't know why you chose to lay right in front of me, but I have a mask. Then I have some medication. Then we have some hand sani. I feel like this is a good thing to keep in your bag. This is rose and vanilla. You wanna smell? Was it good? After that we have a glasses case with no glasses in it. I don't know why this is in my bag if there's no glasses in it. I'm actually like blind. I have terrible eyesight. I'm supposed to drive with glasses on and I don't. I'm not like terrible. I just see like blurry lights. Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you talking to me or the audience? I don't know. All I can think about is this would be a perfect hot dog holder. I don't eat hot dogs. The next thing I have in my bag is gum. I have this fear that my breath always smells bad or like I always smell bad even though I don't. Then I wear deodorant and perfume and gum. What's your guys' favorite gum? My favorite gum used to be Juicy Fruit, but the only problem with Juicy Fruit is that the flavor goes away really quickly. Mint usually lasts a little longer. I like, and I also don't like spearmint as much as I like like icy mint, like this is polar ice. Spearmint makes me like cough. I don't know why, it makes me like, it like triggers a tickle in my throat. Sometimes when I don't really know how to make my decisions, like oh, do I want this shirt, yes or no, you know. Magic 8 Ball is in my bag at all times. Just shake it up and then get your answer. 
not today. Okay, well, I won't get that shirt today. It's also really good to make my friends laugh. You know, I pull it out and I go, have you ate today? Get it? Because it's a magic eight ball. You know, and then my friend, you know, corrects me and says, it's actually eaten. Have you eaten today? And then I feel bad for failing English in high school, so. We have next in here, two lip glosses. I have a lip plumper, which is Too Faced Lip Injection. Sugar, why are you so interested in what I'm saying? He's full on like looking at me and like listening to what I'm saying. Like, this has nothing to do with you, sir. For once in my life, this has nothing to do with you. Anyways, lip plumper. And then I have NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Rome. I wear this a lot, and I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, what's your lip color? It's this thing. Oh, this is fun. Keys. Um, pretty basic. I never find my name every, anywhere, right? So Jake found me this one time and bought it for me, which was very sweet of him. Thank you. And it just goes like this. This is a door opener, so I don't have to touch doors. Pretty self-explanatory. These are keys to the Louis Vuitton necklace that I used to wear around my neck. And I used to carry this around me just in case I slept over somewhere. I could just like take it off. These are the keys to Jake's house. They're pink and like cute. Yeah, I'm a key holder, no big deal. These are the keys to my house. They're also pink and sparkly. And this is the um, PO box that I never closed. Well, I closed it, but like I never gave the key back. I probably should. I gave the spare one and then I never gave this one back. So that's a problem. Here are my Mini Cooper keys with a piece of gum stuck to the back. Then we have piercings that I got taken out. There's like three piercings in here because I ripped them out on accident brushing my hair and I got them replaced by like really nice ones that are actually like really good metal. And the piercer put it in a baggie for me. So I haven't taken this out yet. Then we have a Scentbird perfume. This is my favorite one that I got from them. So I carried around with me to spritz on because once again, I have a fear of smelling stinky. <gasps> I'm embarrassed. I betrayed Taco Bell, you guys. I feel so wrong. I used to shit on Del Taco a lot and Jake knows that. We used to get into bickers fights about whether to get Del Taco or Taco Bell. Cause Jake went through this phase where he really liked Del Taco. And I was like, no, it gives me the shit. And it did, it made me go to the restroom the next morning. Like it really messed with my tummy. But then I found something I liked there and it was the medium hot sauce. So anything I got there, as long as I drenched it in this, I was good to go, I was set. Taco Bell's still my favorite, but like I've had a few nights where I've been getting Del Taco just cause I'm obsessed with their medium hot sauce packet. So I guess, you know, one day I just wanted to take one home with me. Taco Bell is my life and nothing will ever replace Taco Bell in my heart, but Del Taco is very good too. I will admit that. Mini M&Ms, never know when you're gonna go hungry and I've sent this what, I've said this. Sorry, sir, were you not comfortable? Oh, big sigh. Sugar just went. <sighs> he was like, shut the f up, mom. I've said this once before and I'll say it again. Mini M&Ms are something else, you guys. They don't taste like regular M&Ms. They taste so much better. And if anyone wants to argue with me, comment down below. Comment down below. I also like peanut M&Ms, but any chance I get, if I see mini M&Ms, I will buy them. I will buy them 100%. I also have a fainting problem and I faint a lot, so it's pretty good that I keep like sweets with me because sometimes it's good to... Are these expired? No. I have this problem where I check the expiration date of everything lately because one time I got really bad food poisoning and I almost... Now I check the expiration date of everything because I really have the biggest fear of getting food poisoning. I don't care about like throwing up and like having stomach problems and stuff like that, but food poisoning itself is like a big fear of mine because I had it once and it really, really messed me up. Anyways, I have, oh, oh, I got this in Kansas. It says Kansas and then my name flashes because once again, I can never find my name anywhere. So I'm gonna try and get anything I can with my name on it. Next we have my lifesaver, my one and only, the reason I breathe, literally. If you guys have been following up with me, you guys know that recently I have been diagnosed with asthma and it's not even regular asthma, it's coughing asthma, so I cough. I didn't wanna look like a nerd. I didn't wanna look like a fool. So I bedazzled my inhaler. It's super cute. I just want it to look really pretty and I want it to look glamorous while hitting it in public. I say hitting it like it's a vape. <laughs> it's a showstopper, like me. 
And the last thing I have in here is my YouTube plaque because sometimes I feel really Be humble and I have to remind myself that I'm really cool and I have all you guys and I have over 100,000 subscribers. It's also really good when people ask me like, oh, what do you do for a living? And I just go, flip this puppy out and I'm like, oh. I'm a YouTuber, no big deal. Speaking of, if you're not subscribed, if you want to become one of these, why don't you go press the subscribe button right now and uh, become one of us. One of us, one of us, one of us. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. I know a What's in My Purse is a little outdated, but I thought it'd be really fun and funny to do one. And for you guys to see most of the realistic content in my purse. If you guys aren't subscribed already, please do so. Turn on my notification bell so you guys know when I'm uploading every Monday. Comment down below who or what you guys want to see next, and if you guys want to see me do any other old YouTube trends, because I am so down to do them. Give this video a like if you think sugar's cute, and if you don't like it, then you hate animals. Love you, sugar. Sugar and I say, time to skedaddle. Bye, guys.